Queen Consort Olympias, your wife, has studied long and hard and is now known as an educated person. Pella has reached a new culture level. Higher levels of culture unlock additional improvements and wonders for a city. Each new level will also trigger a positive culture event for the city. Today a group of laborers has decided to join your workforce, granting you a new worker. Alright. That's good. Kind of like, I don't know if it's good or bad to construct too many mines. I feel like I should probably focus on some other things. I mean, we could move over here and start collecting some wood, maybe. Cut some trees. We already have a lot of trees, so I don't know. <clears throat> Continue exploring this portion of the map. Ah, so here we have something. On here we have the Danes. Doesn't look like there are any paths through this mountain here. Here, yeah, here we can pass through, that's nice. Ah, oh, and we can try and... So... Let's see if we can... <clears throat> Ah, attacking in, well, that's nice. Stager. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds like a good, good idea if you're about to attack. Into something like that, a city square. Persia's turn, Barbarian's turn, A marriage proposal has arrived from Alekminion. Family for your son, Prince Alexander. Ah, and that's the family running our first city, I guess. <laughs> Prince Alexander, your son, 23, marries oligarch. Areith the Younger. She's diplomat and cunning. Plus three charisma. That will give us more science. <coughs> I think maybe it sounds it. This feels like a pretty good deal. Wisdom. Caravan access sounds good. Now that Pella has reached developing culture level, there is no options for hurrying production in the city to become available. With developing of higher Culture level alone, a city can hurry production at the cost of some civics and discontent. Other methods of hurrying production are further enabled by certain governor traits or laws, like orthodoxy and volunteers. These distinct means distinct hurrying production cost resources other than civics, although they all produce discontent. 
for example, with the holy war law and state religion, you can hurry production with money. You can see the difference, different options for hurrying production in the city panel underneath the current production in progress. Hurrying production can be expensive, but can also save you the tight spots. <coughs> Sounds reasonable. don't really think we have anything to hurry right now, though. We do have some discontent, and we do have some... So I think, like, maybe we make... We do festival... Ooh, caravan. Or settler. I think we probably wore a slinger. Slinger would probably be a good idea, I think. Let's do a slinger. <laughs> we are stronger currently, so let's see if we can get away with it. Shrine, the King's Roads. Our expedition comes up on an impressive paved road system leading between wooden structures that have long since rotted away. The engineering required to build such a site was far ahead of its time. What would you have us do with it? Break down the roads for stone. That sounds a bit harsh. Or Study the technology, acquire labor force, roads, slavery, and freedom. Yeah, that sounds cool. Don't really know what it does, but sounds way more interesting than getting stolen. <clears throat> Two years to remain on that. Four years for animal husbandry, and we can do something with these pastures. We get two plus growth, and ah, oh, that's nice. So we already have plus 12. And what can we do to lower our discount? I guess that's when you have to build. Festivals. Yeah. That makes sense. I don't really know why we want to use... Might be good to build some roads down here at some point, I guess. I don't really have a need to cut down the trees, I think. We are kind of... Safe on food, I think. Cities don't seem to have like food on their own. Is that maybe? And yeah, now this is how much the city gets.
I guess like we're getting a bit close here on food, so maybe it's good to do something about it. Prince Alexander and Princess Consort Ariete the Younger have given birth to a son, Duke Hippias. During a royal feast, you share an enchanting conversation with one of your minor courtiers. The wine flows freely as the two of you talk late into the night. The revelry comes to a close, but your companion lingers on as the rest of the guests depart. Let's see where the night takes us. A ruler. Yeah, yeah, let's not be that guy. So let's see here. Let's continue our little skirmish. Five years left on the slinger. I don't really see a point in hurrying this along too much. Right now. This? We have encountered people from the realm of Babylonia. They are led by King Nebuchadnezzar, the settler of Babylonia, known as Scholar. How shall we approach the Babylonians? Show them the goodwill with a gift. Keep the meeting civil, but that's all. We must dominate them. Uh, I think it's always a good idea to open the wallet a little bit. <clears throat> Sirenica Uniper stands. Alright. Can harvest some camels. We only gain money. Only but... Methana Mountains. Right. <clears throat> In mood, a mood. Thought. So, yeah. Turn summary. Yes, 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 yes. Character birth, unit effect. Oh, loss available. New laws, interesting, slavery and freedom. Uh, all cities plus one discontent per year. Mines and quarries, 20% output, builder opinion plus 10. Costs 400 civic. All cities plus four money per year per specialist. We have one specialist right now. Sage's opinion. <clears throat> I think I'll take the money. Not only because of slavery is slavery, but Would be interesting to see if we could find some place where we could get some coastal access. And production. Ooh, we have high, really high discontent. Oh my god. I 
Can we lower that with a festival? I hope. Carthage is now at peace with the Danes. Greek paganism founded in Region. Prince Alexander, your son, and Princess Consort Arit the Younger have given birth to son, Duke Simon. Alright. They are popping out kids right now. I guess that's not so weird given the times. Princess Consort Arit the Younger, your daughter-in-law, has converted to Greek paganism. Serbs and chance of spreading to new cities. Alright, interesting. Pagan religions are founded by building your first shrine and they spread by building more shrines. They have no disciples, theologists or access to special re religious improvements. But improving the religion's opinion will reduce discontent in cities with religion. Paganism can be adopted as a state religion if you enact divine rule. <clears throat> the Danes present an offer promising a stable peace. Do we approve? Ah. A caravan of Babylonian performers makes a stop in a region. To celebrate the promising relations between our nations. Among the troop is Kash. Kashaya. Kash. Shaya. Heir to the Babylonian throne. Throughout the evening, you notice her catching the eye of our heir, Alexander. Mm. The two young people appear to be getting along well, which may be a cause for concern. <clears throat> Let the heirs have their harmless fun. Yeah, we all know how that ends. King Philip the Explorer gains charisma. They must stay focused on their responsibilities. Warn my heir of falling in love with a foreigner. Plus two legitimacy. Express our concerns to King Nebuchadnezzar, the settler of Babylonia. Let's take the... Legitimacy. Personal religion. Although Greece has no state religion, many people follow their own faiths and practices. The Greek pagan priests of Region say that the support of the gods will only strengthen your rule and offer to teach you about their ways. Will you accept? Yes. <clears throat> Yeah, this is nice. Let's do this. Let's build a camp. Get some growth. This content is still really high. Now we're starting to have some problems, I feel like. <clears throat> this unit suddenly appeared marauder uh, let's back it off I think Philip the Intrepid. Catalonian Woodlands. More barbarians. Mm. 
out of orders. You run out of orders. Yes. All right. So I think we can end the year. I think we'll really need to try to get another settler out soon. Persia has converted to Judaism. Pericles, Pericles the Tough has converted to Greek paganism. Ooh. Hmm. Late one morning, servants discovered the heir, Alexander, missing from his chambers. According to a farewell message, he has departed Region to meet his lover, Kashasha, the heir of Babylonia. There is nothing to be done. Okay. We will tell the people of Greece the truth. We must choose a new heir secretly. Yes. <clears throat> that sounds like a smart idea. Ah, so we can upgrade workers to militia. We have one year left to build out this. So let's try to start healing this one. Ah. They are building that. We have goats here. We have pigs here, which requires husbandry, which will soon finish. Three years. We might actually want to hurry. Slinger production. Let's do that. Gulf of Suez. Yeah. We are out of moves. More barbarians. Marauder barbarians. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, boosting that slinger was definitely a good idea, I think. That scout has moved. This one has moved. We have two orders left. Yeah, let's end the year. Please don't let the marauders rush up and kill my camp. <clears throat> Ah, huh. they were. Patriot per uh, Pericles the Tough is now head of Greek paganism. Oh, the Sipsilid spouse. Alright. So, okay, so all the Greek families are changing. View detection. Police administration, free worker. Don't really need more workers, I think, right now. Hamlet might be good. Walls. Border boost, vassalage, centralization, all building, all cities can build farms on march, marshes, ambassador, that might be good, I don't really have contact with a ton of, carriots would be, yeah, carriots, blights, D 
this might be really good. Navigation we don't really have access to. Water. Right. Forest would be good. Ah, we get access to shells. Yeah, let's do this one. Spoked wheel. Okay, so the blue ones are the ones that are available. Administration, navigation, and police. Granary is good. Treasure one. Yeah. Four. I think we'll go with all this. Land consolidation. We will have access maybe to elephants. Let's over here. Ah, it's just outside. I don't know how that works though. Administration is only four years though. Let's go for administration. It looks like we might need it at some point. Sail up here. Let's just build a farm here. Starting to kind of get low on farms. Have a slinger. We want you over here. And now we have access to this. So this one gives us two plus growth and ten food. And it's the same with goats. So let's make a pasture. <coughs> Pella should definitely build. Fifty-three. Three per year. Now we have time to build a settler. Seven times three twenty-one is gonna be fine. Mm. Let's do that. Can we hurry production? No. All right. You should probably get out of there. And we're out of workers already. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Simon the Carthagian. Simon the Timid, a member of the Carthaginian court, arrives with a special request. He wishes to remain in Peya as a foreign ambassador, living among our people while supporting the cause of his fellow Carthaginian abroad. Granting such a position to a foreigner, including a palat palatial home and court access, may anger some of the citizens of Peya, but it would certainly bolster relations with Carthage. <laughs> so we can accept it is wise to host an agent of the Carthaginian court plus 40 opinion for 80 years. We get Simon the Timid and Deard, whatever that means. Could lead to future events. Welcome him warmly and appoint him to a court position. Hmm. Plus 
80. We can't. We don't have that. Nope. Okay, so we get this because we are honorable. Alright. We promote them right away. Card warden. Yeah. Let's keep exploring that route. Let's see what. And here, far desert. Yeah. It is always fun. Ah, you can undo. Oh, you can undo stuff. Undo last move. Cool. Ah, and they have a settler arc. Ah, it's not the best place to build on, but forcing us south. Yeah, let's see what we do about that. How can we lower this content level? different actions here as well and Alexander is like thing somewhere right <coughs> end of the year 